several years ago, I asked a really stupid question to God, and I vowed to myself, I will never ask it again. I don't know what got into me. I would just felt compelled to ask this question. And the question was this, God, how come I've never had a major financial crisis? Yeah, I know, what was I thinking? I punched myself after I said it, I'm like, stupid, 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 don't say it. Don't even put that into a thought. Just, just. I think it was because I was around a bunch of people that season of my life that were people that I admire, I respect, I look up to, and some were about the same age and some were, were older than me. And all of them had this similar, they were very prosperous, not in, some, in a material sense, but that's not my point. They were prosperous inside. Like they were just pillars of faith and trust. I mean, they're like immovable. And all of them had the same common denominator. Like, yeah, we bankrupt. I lost everything. And I'm like, dang, is that like a requirement or something? Or... <laughs> so that was going, now I know that was dumb. Believe me, I've... I don't, I will never ask it again, but I'm just being real with you. This is what was going through my head. I'm like, God, how come I haven't? And he, he, he answered me just like that. He said, because of the kitchen table. I said, oh, that's right. I'm all, oh, whew, I'm glad. And this is what happened. Candace and I were married for about, about three or four years, something like that, maybe five years. And we're doing the bills one night. We're sitting in, in, our, in our house at the kitchen table. She's on one side of the kitchen table. I'm on the other side. She's balancing the checkbook. I'm doing receipts and bills. We're just kind of doing our... Uh, paying bills. And we spend, I think, 45 minutes to an hour, and we get down to the end. And you know that number at the very end, the bottom line number? It's really nice when it's the color black. <laughs> black is good. But it wasn't one of those nights. It was red. Now, I'll be honest with you. We have never been in poverty or been extremely poor. We just never, there were seasons of life where we just didn't have much. Like, we were barely getting by, and we lived frugal. We, just, we were best steward, and this was one of those months where it was like, hmm, this is not encouraging. This is definitely not a great month. So we looked at that number. I don't remember what it was. Today, it would probably be nothing, but then it felt like a million dollars in the hole. You know, that moment like, oh, shoot, how are we going to do this? And we didn't have saving. We had nothing. We had nowhere to pull from the rescue. It was like, okay, well, this is that was the number, and it was really quiet in there. You know, that moment of like, this isn't good. So Candace and I were looking at each other, and we definitely were feeling, I was at least, hopeless, and quite discouraged. It was like, man, we, we, we're, we're generous, we give, we're living frugal, we're being stewards, blah, blah, blah. And so we're sitting, Candace is on this side, I'm on this side, and we're just kind of like, this moment, it felt like forever, but probably only 10 seconds. And Candace goes, Eric, you know what? I said, what? She said, I'm really thankful for you. I'm like, oh, I, I, thank you, that's awesome. I said, I'm thankful for you too. And she, then she goes, I am so thankful for this kitchen table that we have, that we're sitting at. It was a gift. Someone gave it to us. Like, you know what? I like this table. This table's great. I, I just didn't realize how thankful I was until right now. <laughs> I mean, you just have this revelation. of like, wow, this table's great. It's flat and it's stable and it works. <laughs> and then I go, God, I am so, Candace, I am so thankful for my dog. My dog was laying at my feet that night. And uh, her name was Rio. And she was a black lab. I've always wanted a black lab growing up. We were duck hunter. I did a lot of duck hunting, and lab was like, you want a lab. And so after I got married, some friend of mine, um, they bred uh, Labradors. And so he said, Eric, I got a litter. Come have your pick of the litter, and I'm going to give you this like $400, $500 dog, something like that. So Rio, that was her name, was a gift from God several years before. And I said, I am so thankful for my dog. This was the gift from God. And then Candace, I think she goes next, she goes, I'm so thankful for having two healthy daughters and they're, they're sleeping well, they're, just, they're, they're happy, they're healthy. And I'm like, absolutely. And we spent, I think, about 10, maybe 15 minutes just going back and forth, just saying, I'm thankful for this. I'm thankful for this. What do you think took place in the room? What do you think took place in the most important room? My heart. I realized, oh my gosh, this, we praise the Lord, his mercy endures forever. What happened? Our true identity came out. Our true identity and DNA just whoop, came right to the surface. Praise the Lord for his mercy and do it forever. And all of a sudden, the entire atmosphere changed in that room. And I found out just a couple years ago, which would have been about 12 to 13 years after that moment, I asked a dumb question and said, God, how come I've never had a financial crisis? And he said, because of that moment right there. 